What's up, y'all? It's T-Tar, and welcome back to the Ethnical Disc DLC. We just fought Champion Kieran. This battle was insane. His theme, his signature. Now we've been called up, y'all, and we about to get some lore on Terrapagus. It's coming. Make sure y'all shank that like button. Let's go. So we gotta go up with Kieran. Look at this man carry. Guys, I have some thoughts on Kieran. I'm you see that, that? That's him again, right? This is the same way he spoke after losing back on Kirikami. He's still inside there. I have some thoughts on him. Classroom 1 4, right? Finally, Briar's class. Congratulations on becoming champion. Uh, but we can't settle yet, it seems, with everything unsettled. I don't know what she's just said. One thing that's cool about this whole gauntlet is how fleeting the champion title is. It makes it nice and realistic. Oh no, this is bad. If I'm not in the Elite Four, I can't use the Elite Four space at the Savannah Plaza anymore. Wow. Only the top four uh, get that space. Demo, thank you. I didn't save him. I don't... I mean, right now, it kind of looks like we did. Right? So it's like he was about to descend into more chaos. And then we spoke to him. And it kind of... It kind of just softly... It was kind of like a hug, I guess. Now, here's the thing, y'all. So we have two thoughts on, Do on Dokutaro, right? One, Dokutaro possessed Kirim and gave him these powers. But what about this idea? Because remember I said Kirin is still strong, the one on Kitakami. And then Drayden here said too that Kirin had this certain look in his eye because he really enjoyed battling. So what if when Dokutaro, if Dokutaro popped up in his head, that he granted him zero power? The reason he picked Kirin is because of that potential. Wouldn't it be so much cooler to find out? To find out all his power is his own. You know? Man, that dude is so cool. Let's go. Classroom 1-4. I think Ogre Pun's dead still. Stop it. Stop it. Let's go. Um, wait. Cyrano, man. I, I, you were telling me... I'm so glad I turned around. Hi. Thank you, Tamo. Don't worry about Kiki. We should go see what Miss Bry wants. I wanted more in-depth dialogue than that. Cyrano's gonna tell me nothing. Yo, yo, hold up, hold up. We fought Hydrapo, right? We gotta do this. Uh, how do you do it? How do you do it? Uh, okay, we push X. We go to Pokedex. Look at a blueberry! <laughs> yo, this, this is DLC, bro. Alright, I mean, we knew these dudes would be at the end. Where is... Where is Hy... I just wanna see... Wouldn't it tell me it's typing? Come on, come on. How, how... What did you just do? Hydrapple, come on. You know what? It's probably at the end of the deck, but how do you even make it to the end of the deck? Just look carefully. I can't see crap when it's scrolling. Oh! Oh! I don't know what that sound was. Oh, it doesn't tell me crap! Oh, it tells me crap. <laughs> Grass dragon. I knew it, man. I knew it. I, oh, I thought it would be bugged, but the moment it popped out... Y'all, so all those little green bits are other heads hiding inside. So when you upset the home, they come out. Yo, this thing probably has like Ogre Pond tier stats. Hydrapple. That's some wildness. Let's go, baby. Um, congratulations on becoming the getting the BBL surgery. Let's go to Wait. We go into Kieran's classroom? Can't we just go to can we meet at my dorm? We have to see how this happens, because right now, Karen's kind of snapped out of it. So, what's gonna snap him? If Briar starts talking about Teropagus, it might snap him back. Let's see. He might be like, wait, another chance at power. I'm so hyped, y'all. Finally, we meet her. She she thinking about something? She got paper? She been putting work together? Yeah, there's something weird about her. I'll, I'll say it. Here you are, Miss B. Thank you all for coming. I am pleased to inform you that some very special guests are here to see you today. I have no idea who it could be. They left for a tour of the school mere minutes ago, but I believe they'll return soon enough. Why would you tease me? What? Who could they be? In the meantime, I'll... Yo, you really got me tripping. In the meantime, I'll fill you in on the situation. Please have a seat. Don't mind if I do. These knees are creaking. Yo, Kieran's kind of on her side right now for a bit. I don't know. For a bit or forever. I, don't, I really don't. Oh, please. You're not old enough for that yet. Ah, Tamo. I had heard you were busy battling your way up the BB League. But to think you'd make it as far as champion. What a dazzling accomplishment. 
thanks, I guess. Well, look at Carmen over this. <laughs> She's actually adorable. Service bar, could, but could we leave all that for another time? What's this thing you wanted to tell us about? Oh, we made her sad! My apologies, that was insensitive of me. I, I, was it? Let me get straight. It's over. We died tonight. She got a nice witch's nose. You can't play this music here. I want all of you here to join me. On an expedition to this secluded and mysterious area. She got permission. She was never able to go before. Area Zero? That's the place in Paldo you wanted to visit, right? You got permission? My main goals are to investigate the terrestrial phenomenon and to gather samples of the crystals present in the crater. But to be honest, I have one more ambition for this trip. Look at the squad, Raiden! I'm hoping that we can find Terrapagus, the legendary Pokemon slumbering in Area Zero. Look at her face. This is what snaps him back, y'all. Poor Kieran, we actually saved him. We just had to calm down from his high. Tropicus, a legendary Pokemon? <laughs> Why does it have to be you? No, I'm, uh, no I'll give you a shot. I I'm actually, I'm happy. Gita's relevant? Wait. A rather exciting idea, isn't it? Hey, Glimora, baby. Babies? There you are, Gita. I was just getting the kids up to speed. I do apologize for my tardiness. I don't call you La Premier Pre Miss Gita. Hmm? Champion Damble? I certainly didn't expect to run into you here. Damn, you don't even know what's happening? Ah, of course, you must be participating in the student exchange program. Damble just got crowned our new BB champion too. Your talent is brilliant as always, I see. Truly a wonderful thing. She keeps using that word brilliant. Uh, if you'll be going along, then I suppose that bodes well. She's coming? Wait, we're all going to Area Zero? Yes, Gita, come! Uh, Gita, is it alright if I explain the situation to the children? Why you gotta say children, huh? <laughs> what? <laughs> By all means. First, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Gita. I'm the chairwoman of the Pokemon League in Baldia. More than a decade ago, this is Sada and Toro. More than a decade ago, the Pokemon League provided support for research on Area Zero, the giant crater at the center of Paldia. Once that research was complete, we shifted our duties to monitoring and managing the area. Area Zero is full of mysteries and also danger. Generally speaking, the area is off limits, even for research. That being said, Gita, you know about this? I thought Clavel kept this a secret. Recently, we've had to confront the possibility that dangerous Pokemon could escape the area. There's a clear need for further research and quickly. But at our Pokemon League, we've had trouble finding capable personnel. Not to mention time to study Area Zero. So, you reached out to me as I've been requesting access to the area for quite some time now. I apologize that we are not better equipped to deal with this ourselves. This is badass. Blueberry Academy has a wealth of highly skilled trainers with well-trained Pokemon. And with Champion Thamel also on the team, I know I could safely initiate a new expedition. This is entirely voluntary, of course, but it would be very reassuring to have you with us. What? This is the squad? Kieran, Drayden, and Carmine and me? I don't know my old friends. I don't want to play with them anymore. I don't know. I'm afraid I must insist that you go along, Champion Thamel. You've been to the depths of Ares. I thought Clavo hid this. I guess she knows. Oh, uh, well, I think it's already decided that I'm going. Your support will be very useful as always, Carmine. I appreciate having you on board. Yeah, Carmine been helping Briar. Why? I was really, I was really excited. Sorry, but I'll pass on this one. I guess it's realistic. <laughs> the league club's a whole mess right now. We need a steady hand on the wheel here. 
Sure, you just can't be bothered to travel all the way to Paldia, can you? Heh <laughs> heh, guilty. Okay. <laughs> he pokes the bear. I'm curious what our mighty ex-champion is thinking though. Oh yes, I'm going. Oh, I mean, he's being up front. He's not keeping any secrets. If there's a legendary Pokemon there, I want to find it and catch it. This time, I won't let this chance go. Interesting. Uh, uh, Y'all not going to give a second thought to that? Dennis decided. It's too bad that Drayden won't be joining us. But it seems the team will consist of... This is insane. Carmine, Kieran, Tamil, and myself. Wait, Gita! I knew you were useless. I, you have my thanks for the help on this matter. Then why is why Rika even here? I'm grateful for the opportunity, Gita. Leave it to me. My dream of exploring Ares is finally becoming a reality. Now, time to prepare. Let's meet by the bridge at the Academy's entrance as soon as we're ready. We're teaming with Kieran. Oh, shoot. We're going to be buddy-buddy for a while. Yeah, we're going to have that same venture in the area zero where everyone's talking to each other? We have evil Kieran as a buddy? Where is he? Rika, why are you here? You, she just dragged me in. I don't want to talk to her. Oh my god, she's... I wasn't actually trying to leave. I just wanted to see stuff. Wow, y'all, I'm so freaking excited, honestly. I just want to speak to you first. It's been a while, Champion Tamo. Guys, I think it might have been... I, I, I want to say it's been a few months time skip. But, I, yeah. It's been a while, Champion Tamo. Hiya, kiddo. Rika's here too, at your service. Not gonna lie, I never dreamed we'd be running into you. I see that you're putting your skills to good use and living up to your title as Apaldia Champion, even while abroad. That title useless. I like my new title better. Ha, indeed. I would expect nothing less from a talented trainer such as yourself. Yeah, definitely got talent. Lots of talent. Because I failed to... I didn't fail the quiz. <gasps> I didn't fail the quiz when I played this game and she actually mentioned it. But not enough to get you off the hook. Yo, who snitched? See, I knew they didn't know this crap. You went into the great crater without League's permission, didn't you? Don't think you're gonna get... You're not gonna get a solding for that. That's what champions do? Hey, it's because I said this earlier. What's that got to do with anything? You can't just go breaking the rules willy-nilly. Maybe that's Dokutaro's name. Billy nilly Calm down, Rika. No harm came to him after all. Oh darn, you care about me? And besides, we have good reason to believe that all of Paldia would have been at risk if Champion Thamel hadn't ventured into Area Zero. Well, yeah, I mean that's true, but... Fine, I'll let you off the hook this one time. I'd like to see you try not letting me off the hook. What's the best you can do? You'd better thank the boss for stepping in. Everyone calls her that. Uh, don't think poorly of Rika, she just worried for you. Now then, Champion Thamo. It's the Pokemon League music. This time you'll be heading to Area Zero with official League permission. Oh, man. Only a handful. Who told her? I guess it, I guess it was only right Clavel told her, but you snitched, my dog. Like, people know about the time machine? And why Rika? Only a handful of people know about the incident involving the time machine. However, taking into account the dangers of Area Zero, I have elected to inform Miss Briar of what happened. Obfuscating certain details. Tell me you hid the time machine part. Speaking of, boss, didn't you say you had something to give to that Briar person? Yes, yes I did. I've forgotten about that. Champion Tamu, would you be so kind to take it from me? Okay, what could it be? What? Hello? Is that? It's an item? Y'all, I, 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 I actual disc. Is Turbicus a freaking machine? Wait, wait, wait. This is very odd. Because Keith described Turbicus as a disc. 
but we could see it was a turtle. So the but that, there's an actual disc here, a mysterious disc with an indigo shine to it. Oh my god, yo, this might have to do with technology. The ancient people. Yo, could you imagine Trubogus is a, a man-made Pokemon somehow, despite how natural it looks. What is that anyway, TM or something? He was a disc that was sent by an Area Zero researcher to an investor some time ago. What? When? What is happening? I had my investigation team look into it. It is certainly not a TM, nor is it a mere tool for storing data. I honestly have no idea as to its true purpose, but I assume it has to do with Area Zero. What? I figure that since you're heading to Area Zero, I might as well ask you to investigate the purpose of this disc while you're there. While he's there, huh? Did you want him to pick up potato salad on the way back too? Yo, shut up, Rika! I ask that you return the disc to me if you end up not finding a use for it. There's still so much we don't know about Area Zero. I know you've already been to its depths, but please exercise some caution when dealing with the environment of Pokemon there. As a champion, it falls on you to protect and guide those accompanying you. Everyone with me aside from Briar is really strong. Wish I could go with you, kiddo. But I've got my own nothing to do. Do your best down there, but don't push yourself too hard, you hear? Y'all, an Area Zero researcher gave it to an investor. So someone has been supplying a researcher with money to investigate Area Zero. Was this... The last researcher we know was Sod on Toro 10 years ago-ish. Did this happen after that? Before then? Some other numbers we know is those research stations in Area Zero, they were constructed 87 years ago. Because that's when they, it seems like, started to take research seriously with looking into Area Zero. At least like the modern age. So it could be anywhere in the last 87 years. So it could be before Sod on Toro. Let's go to Carmine's dorm room. This is wild, y'all. We have a freaking indigo disc. We have to, I have to see this. This is so peculiar. I can't, I, this is so weird. Why would there be a freaking disc? I have no freaking leads on what this means. Aside from the fact that what's interesting is a disc implies not something natural. So there's some weird technology crap going on here. Y'all, could you imagine that Torpicus is not a real natural Pokemon? And so when Sod and Toro constructed a time machine, they kind of made like a prototype Torpicus. What? <laughs> Cyrano, let me change my hair. I can't go to Area Zero like this. What the hell is that? You actually discourage me. Talk about some don't be discouraged. How do I change my crap? Wait a minute. What if I do this? And then this. Oh. I'm finding something. <gasps> oh, 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 oh. Oh, I see nothing here. I see absolutely nothing here. Where's Kieran? Yo, guys. We're freaking teaming with Kieran. Oh. I guess we give the disc now. He's a good kid, y'all. If he just had more time to cool down, he would have been fine. It's so weird, y'all. I legit... I would say there's nothing Dokutar related involved. But there's two pieces of info that are weird. See? He's talking normal. Air Zero, right? Come on, let's go. I want to get started. Obviously with a bit more sternity. The one is the fact that all this only happens after they show the Peach in sight while he's kind of mad. At his most like vulnerable, like weak moment. And then two, it's the two Peachy jokes Drayden made. That's the only thing that's got me suspicious. Let me through. Kiki's awfully quiet. I hope he's okay. He was so bent out of shape when he lost. I'm so freaking excited. Okay, so listen, y'all. I'm gonna tell you something about Briar, but okay. Are you ready to travel to Area Zero, Tamil? I'm gonna tell y'all this right now. Okay, so you see Briar. So look, I'm 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 showing you her, her shirt on purpose. So you see on the left side, the the wheel, and then the right side wheel, right? They're not the same. I've talked about this in the video, right? The one on her right side has spikes on it. The one on her left side has electricity jolts, right? 
Now, I don't think I have the Scarlet and Violet book, but even it, it carries on to the pattern down there as well. If you can see the borders. So the right side of her, well, our, uh, for our right, that is Coridon, the spikes and the, the, the symbols that aren't electricity. On the other side, that's Maridon's wheel and then electricity. So her very clothing is paradoxical because I'm playing Violet, so Coridon doesn't exist. So there, I've, especially now that she knows something about this indigo disc, I wonder just like, what would make her dress like this? She's also dressed like a book. She looks like the Violet book came to life. You see that, what do you call it? A girder? Gardle? It looks like a book hatch, whatever. Splendid. We're finally ready to set off then. Uh, are you two feeling all right? Well enough to travel at least? Well, I'm, I'm fine anyway. Yeah, me too. What a squad. I've had time to calm down. Oh, well, that's good. I'm fine. I know what I have to do now. I'll find this legendary Pokemon in Area Zero, no matter what it takes. <laughs> Don't do it, Briar! Be serious! That's the spirit, Kieran. Oh, Kieran's his teacher. Briar's his teacher, I think, right? All right, then. Shall we? So, all of us, we know each other quite well. Back to Paul. Yo, what a cool squad to go in with. Briar, can I borrow your book? There's also something I noticed. Oh, what the frick? Are we just serious? St what am I looking at, y'all? Kieran is in Area Zero? Oh, Briar's excited. <gasps> Yo, Briar finally made it. Guys, she's he's descended. She's finally back. The blood. We made it. I'm finally here. This is amazing. Area Zero, the place I've dreamed about for years. Whoa, this is incredible. Wowzers. Yo, so guys, Kieran is like half and half right now. He's he's stable in his evil evil form. Uh so you've been here before, right, Tamo? Yeah. I have other friends, you know. Friends, huh? Oh, okay, I shouldn't have said that. Oh, man. Agaius! Ick, you scared me. You never met this, have you? Honestly, you're too big to be popping out like that. Er, whatcha, Madon? Agaya? Hey, Briar, does that creature not look suspicious to you? It's on the Violet Book. So, you came here with Damo back then too, huh? That's Karen talking to Maridon. He knows how to get Maridon out of his Pokeball, by the way. Oh, you must be that Pokemon that was first reportedly discovered in Area Zero. I'm very intrigued by the specimen, but alas, that's not what we're here for. We're here to go to the deepest depths of Area Zero. And what's even deeper? How do you know? How do you know? Look right here, y'all. There's parts of the book we can't even see. This is exactly what I was going to talk about. Look at that. He's got like a diagram with the words, so he's probably written about all the Paradox Pokemon. We just can't see the pages. Keith mentioned in his writings that he fell from... This is not in the original book. Is it? Heath mentioned in his writings that he fell from the depths to some place even deeper. Wait, hold on. Doesn't the depths imply he was as deep as he could get? Yes, it's quite curious, isn't it? I know how he did it, y'all. However, Heath also wrote that he was utterly unable to recall how he got down there. If his writings are to be believed, there must be an entire uncharted space below Area Zero. Either way, we should start by making uh, for Zero Lab down in the depths. You take the lead. Let's talk to each other. Okay, I just want to see if dialogue plays out. Now, hold on, hold on. I'm just going to quickly... I want to make this, the text slow because it went by really fast in the main game. I'm hoping this will let the dollar go slower. Do you guys know the, the room with the grassy pattern? Heath wrote about it too. What if that's the way to get deeper in? 
Let's talk, baby. Let's talk. What? I thought you guys would accompany me. Wait a minute. You can't use a sacred machine outside the terrarium? Are you kidding me? Yeah, a long time no been in here. Well, I was here like three days ago. Frick, y'all. This is wild. So, you know what? I, I really wish... I really wish there was dialogue, man. See, those freaking hexagon satellites. All of this must have been made 87 years ago. An indigo disc, y'all. I don't... I think that would be kind of interesting. If the ancient people just made a freaking... Like, obviously, the origin to whatever the dream energy is is something. But the, the ancient people, they harnessed it and made Terupagus. I don't know, y'all. I don't know. Uh, we got done sparse. Oh, frick. Nah, nah, nah. Actually, before we go here... Iron Treads, can you do the thing where you run around? It's actually so cool. I've never actually seen the little one do it. Alright. Yeah, hold up, hold up. I, I don't fully know how to get there, but I want to find that grassy room. Oh, man. I might have to cut to get there. By the way, I'll, this is something to notice, right? You forget the detail, but look at these crystals. And listen carefully. They're sparkling. Constantly. You know? It's, it's like... They're always sparkling. It's like constantly emitting something. Okay, this is the way up. So, you know, especially when Heat says Tropicus was like shining brilliantly. Even little bits of its energy, they like eternally glow. Alright, so, uh, here's the... Here we go. Are you Dokutaro, baby? Look how it's latching to the walls and sucking. I see your eye. I spy with my little... A sleeping... See, it's nice, y'all. Like, just to see a bunch of robots. It actually... I was kind of harsh on Violet. When I was just playing the Area Zero part. Uh, just because I wanted to see the cutscene again. But, you know, playing the whole game and getting the future vibe. And then going to Area Zero. It, it, it is... It's pretty good still. You know, I used to think, like, nah. Scarlet is definitely the better version. Just because, like... All the past Pokemon, they're so different looking. And it's also because they're all called iron in the future, right? But I mean, what else could you have made it done? There's a lot of them. Okay, so how do you get there? I believe we just go this way. Uh, by the way, also a couple things to think about. Damn, what you doing all the way up here? A couple things to think about is the crystals. They let you see people who have passed away. What does this mean? If we're going to the depths of... It's right here somewhere, right? If we're going to the depths of Area Zero, could it be possible they make use of that setup? Who could we see down there? Y'all know my theory, right? I really want to see Heath down there. Not because he's alive, but because the crystals somehow show it. Like, I want freaking Briar to meet Heath. Alright, uh, we got Iron Jugulus. Just look. Look at all these sparkles. Look, this room has sparkles everywhere. Shiny Stone. Is Iron Bailey just going to be hanging out here? Chill. Juicy J, what is that? Alright, we got a couple of... What the frick? Oh, okay, I do not remember that. Uh, okay, I gotta run away from this. You take so much time, Deli Bird. I, I admit, man, I I'm a little sad that there's no dialogue, man. Oh my god, that, that, that Doug Trio, please don't. So you see this place right here, right? It looks like some kind of message? Symbol? Or inscription as if like some giant machinery used to be here. And it like burned the ground. In a way that the grass couldn't grow back. You feel me? Get off! I thought Briar would want to come here. I mean, Heath wrote about this freaking place. Interesting. Y'all. Yeah. Alright. So, uh, we gotta go to the super depths. I guess there's nothing here. Is that Iron Valian? That is Iron Valian. Hey! Are you sleeping? You are missing all your pink. That's adorable. Okay, let's get out of here. That kind of looks like a... Oh, y'all again. 
Is that Grievard shiny or something? Why does it keep sparkling? I, I don't know what to think about this indigo disc situation. I remember thinking, right? Like, okay, the teal mask ended up being an actual item. Wouldn't it be weird if the indigo disc was something? But I quickly threw that thought away because I'm like, what? How could the indigo disc be an item? But not only did they... I can't even get out of this place. What the frick? Not only did they make it an item... Hello? How do I get out of here? So good. Am I sealed? Not only is it an item, but it's a freaking disc. Wow! Ow! I just crashed. You hiding from Tinker Tufts? It's like, you see... We all wondered why Heath would call Tropagus a disc. This is all very odd. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna head to the crater now. I have so many thoughts in my head. They're all clustered together. I got nothing that comes out. Let's fall, baby. There's zero lab. So this lab, y'all, it's terrestrialized. That's how the professor describes it. Uh, well, is it this one? And so that's how the the AI is able to function, even though humans don't have the technology for it. And it's, it means that Sodden Tour, they can't, the AI Sodden Tour, they couldn't leave. Oh, the other Maridon's probably here. <laughs> yeah, the other Maridon's here. I didn't catch it. What? But yeah, so about the Crystal Pool, right? And if we can meet anyone, I, I made a video on this, but it, it's... It's not gonna be shot on Toro, I don't think. Because, like, uh, they, they finished Arvin's storyline with Sod on Toro. Like, the AI says that, you know, his parents loved him. And I think they said they were sorry and stuff. And then Arvin moves past it. So, if anyone, bro, I wanna see Heat. Whoa, this place is insane. It reminds me of the Crystal Pool. This is the Zero Lab, I take it. The structure's exterior matches Gita's description, at least. So this is the deepest point in Area Zero? I'll just say nope. Well, yes and no. This is the deepest point that the Area Zero expedition managed to reach long ago. You know, I've been told that the lowest level of this laboratory contains a mysterious room whose purpose is entirely unknown. However, where I want to go is even deeper than that room? So, you're saying we should head inside this Zero Lab? Gate's closed though. Huh? Oh, you're right. Why? How could it be closed? Isn't it? What do we do now, Damo? You've been- Yeah, we, we touched the console, dog. Why would it be closed? There's actually a place inside. It looks like a pipe that you could go into. Maybe we go through there? That would imply Sod and Turo found the way to deeper. There's actually a hole in the wall too. Uh, okay, yeah, let's disable the lock. Wowzers, this feels like a spy movie or something. Wait, cool. What you staring at? What? I didn't see anything. See, he's inside there. I was just thinking of that. Well, then we can kind of need a lock to get. Yeah, you are way smarter than me. You don't need me to push these buttons. Yeah, this is kind of curious. I, it, why did it close again? So who's talking in here? Am I tripping or like... Was it not open? Someone came in here and closed it? I guess you could say... No, I don't think Gita would have come down here. Just because she knows about this crap. Y'all, shut up for a sec. I'm nervous. What the frick is gonna happen? It actually closed during the time skip to the Indigo Disc. What the frick? Access revoked due to prolonged inactivity. Entrance locked. So their AI, the Sodom Tours AI locked us out forever. What's the matter? Something wrong with it? It opened before though, right? Is there some extra stuff we're missing? The four locks. I mean, the professor of the lab is irrelevant, but I'll say it. 
I see. So last time you went through a series of steps to unlock the gate and the professor was also there to guide you from the inside. Who the frick is inside there? What the frick? Indigo Disc detected? Oh, it's talking. Enter Indigo Disc for greater access privileges. Um, See, I told y'all, bro. If this is Sodden Toro's AI... Relax, it's just one of those computerized voices. It's not any different than a TM machine. Aw, oh, man, you get to see Innocent Kirin. What do you mean you don't know what the Indigo Disc is? Indigo Disc, what could it mean by that? Allow me to explain, Briar. I have one. Oh, Gita gave you a mysterious item before you departed, did she? You think that's it? So some researcher... Some researcher found the Indigo Disc and gave it to the investor. Maybe that's what was in the... the grass room. So what, Sauron... Did Sauron Tour build this lab? Or did they just like hack into it? What the frick? <laughs> Yo! <gasps> okay, there should be no Parallax Pokemon inside, right? The time machine's been stopped. In you go, Disc. Yeah, ancient people. Ancient people are 87 years ago, but come on. Zero Lab Elevator redirected to Area Zero Under Depths. Look at that, it opened. Let's head on in. Uh, yeah? Is that legendary Pokemon gonna be inside? Karen, follow me. I'll show you another legendary. It's literally behind this place. Don't steal my ride Pokemon. Go take that one. I don't know if he's gonna steal a ride Pokemon. Yeah, I'm just playing with that. So the disc Gita gave you ended up being the key to the Zero Lab. My, what did that... Could you imagine Gita was the investor? <laughs> yeah, uh, this is insane right here. Uh, we're gonna take a sneak peek. We have to take a sneak peek. Okay, so let's let me show you a couple things. First of all, let's see if this place looks any different. Wow, all the lights are freaking turned off. I can't believe Sodan Toro made it so if no one goes in their lab long enough, they lock it. If their hider was in this place, they, they must have been there. This it's this is weird. Is Arvin's photo still here? Oh god. I can't believe who I'm seeing in this lab right now. She bumped into something. <laughs> it's way too dark in here. I just smacked my head on something. That's because you're just running around without any idea where you're going. Wow, Kiki. Sounds like someone's finally breaking out of their funk, hmm? Okay, I, I, I really hope he don't disappear at the end of this game, y'all. Where's Miss Briar anyways? She's busy rummaging through like a whole stack of documents over there. Aren't those someone's private photos and stuff? They officially acknowledge it. We probably shouldn't be looking at all that. Huh, you're awfully considerate all of a sudden. Miss Briar, look, an elevator. Maybe it can take us further down. You want it to go down, right? Down, you say? <laughs> oh my, did you use this elevator last time to reach the mysterious room I mentioned earlier? I did. Uh, what is that room? Yo, this is why they killed Sod and Turo. They knew way too much. They literally know like a hundred times what we know. And we're never gonna know the truth. Oh, did you already forget what happened last time you were here? Perhaps this is a side effect of prolonged exposure to Area Zero. Nah, she has been, she been written too much. Well, we've got no time to waste. Let's go down. Y'all. 
Kieran. Can I please see Kieran? From what I'm hearing, you've already been on more adventures than I can count. I went on like one, dude. Come on now, let's keep making it. I guess my whole treasure hunt counts as one. And then this counts as another. Frick, yo, yo guys, I'm so freaking lightheaded. See, that's the hole in the wall. I thought maybe you go through there. <laughs> Where's the other pipe? Where's the pipe? I don't know. Maybe the pipe I was looking at was literally this. So this is crazy, y'all. Freaking Karen is coming down. We've snapped him out. He just needs to cool for a bit longer and we've got him back, you know? He's at least found a middle ground between too dark and his normal self, right? This sucker, I think he's going to see Terupagus like sleeping down there and he's going to poke it awake and it's going to go crazy or something. Yeah, I have to play a bit more. Legit, I, I don't know why, but like I've been so lightheaded because of uh, this whole series because I keep screaming. But I scream all the time. I don't know why. That I don't get lightheaded other times. We're freaking doing this. Elevator talk. Let's talk to each other, please. Oh, wonderful. This elevator just keeps going further and further down. That's what elevators do. She is impressed with everything. You know, it's moving pretty fast, actually. It almost feels like I'm floating. Why are you biting your fingers? He's, he's scheming. Hey, everyone? That panel we used to unlock the gate. Didn't it say something about where the elevator goes? Now that you mention it, yeah. Something about an elevator being redirected, right? As far as I know, there's only one elevator inside the Zero Lab. So the panel must have been referring to the elevator we're currently inside. So, where exactly is this thing taking us? Ho oh, ho ho. Where indeed? <laughs> Everyone's concerned. Where are we going? What? How far is it? It landed. The music's different. Oh my. Yo! There's a whole cave to explore. Yo! Yo! That's what he saw! That's the photo! The, 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 the gem's out of the ground. It's right there. Oh my. Come in, baby choir angels. Oh my goodness. Yo, Tropicus is right there. That's Tropicus. So what? Are we under Area Zero or something? Yes, according to my dad, our current position is far deeper than we last were. Look at her. She like freestyling. How did he get here without the elevator? I'm sorry, is this Attack on Titan? What's happening? Yo, I got chills, bro. Could the elevator have taken us even further down than its previous destination? Man, Area Zero is already a lot to take in. I don't think anything's gonna surprise me at this point, no matter what we run into. H hey. What's all this stuff? Wait! Look! Sean and Tour over there! I bet you they hid it from the AIs! If they were that crazy, they might even hide it from their own clone in a sense. Hey, yo. Oh. What are desks doing down here? Oh my. Oh my, this is... This is a report written by the esteemed Professor Turo! The real one! Babies! Babies! A massive cavern exists beneath Area Zero and there's- He found Turupagus! That shell I was just pointing at, that's Turupagus! It's just sleeping! That's like finding a sleeping Geertine or Arceus and just making inventions out of its energy. 
How the hell did he find this place? A massive cavern exists beneath Area Zero. And there slumbers Terupagus, the hidden treasure of Area Zero. That's the answer, man. It's Terupagus. Its body has become crystal. Protecting it from hostile outsiders. It appears that rousing will take some time. That photo in Heat's book is Terupagus sleeping. So how the hell did he get the vision of its chaos form? The stellar type! What? It's called stellar! Dude, the 19th type is called stellar! Alright, fine, I give in, I fold, it's starting to sound cool. I'm such a freaking... I roasted his name so much, but seeing it in official writing, it hits. Yo, Toro, that's why they killed him. So, y'all, Toro and Sada were down here in the depths. They went crazy from the crystals. In this cavern, I've witnessed the terrestrial phenomenon occurring in a way I've never seen above ground. Terrestrialization that appears to hold the power of every known type. I have dubbed this Terra type the Stellar type. Interstellar, Astral. Could Terupagus' influence be at play? What type of bombshell is this? Terupagus is the hidden treasure of Area Zero? And it's slumbering in the form of a crystal? And what is this about a Stellar Terra type? Brilliant. Absolutely marvelous. To think there was so much heat that didn't write about. These documents are a veritable, a veritable treasure trove, and we've only just begun our expedition. I don't know how she can get so excited in a bizarre place like this. The legendary Pokemon Tropagus. That's the hidden treasure of Area Zero. Come on, let's hurry up and go further in. Stop! I'm legit gonna die! I still haven't gotten my fill of these documents, but okay, let's go. It would be best to discover the truth with our own eyes after all. Let's keep moving. Stay on guard, everyone. Yo! I'm gonna freaking faint! Yo, I gotta end it here. Make sure y'all shank that like button. That's Terupagus! Guys, that's freaking Terupagus! Look how potent, look how indigo those crystals are. How, guys? How did he stumble like a thousand kilometers into the earth to find this place and then he got a vision clearly he didn't break open the crystals to see Terupagus inside how is is Kieran gonna somehow figure something out yo shank that like button all right let's get as many likes as possible and I will see you all what's this choir I'll see you on the next one man